Hey guys, in today's lesson video, I'm gonna to continue to talk about how to create a effortless golf swing and still hit the golf ball far away, perhaps even gain distance. So in today's lesson video, I'm gonna talk about how to swing the golf club like Jake Knapp. Jake Knapp is a golfer on the PJ Tour and he's a golfer that's coming up, but I really, really like his golf swing. He has a little bit of a longer top of the backswing position than I would prefer. However, coming down, he has a very effortless golf swing and he throws the club better than almost any golfer that I've seen. He has that effortless Ernie Els type of golf swing, but he hits the golf ball a very far ways out towards the target. So in today's lesson video, the whole topic is when to stay relaxed and when to hit the golf ball hard if we want to hit the golf ball far away. So for most amateur golfers, once they're trying to hit the golf ball far away, what happens is, is that from the top of the backswing to around halfway down, they have a lot of output of energy in this manner right here. So from around the top of the backswing to halfway down, they hit the golf ball very, very hard. But from this position, from halfway down to towards impact, there's not much energy left. So what we have to realize is that if we wanna have an effortless golf swing and hit the golf ball far away, instead of hitting the golf ball very hard from the top, we have to develop a different feel. So the first thing we have to do is we have to develop a half swing to three quarter swing punch shot. It's going to look something like this. Half swing punch shot. And I'm trying to hit these golf balls pretty hard. So this one little three quarter punch shot went around 179 yards. So let me hit one more and make sure that it's around a half swing in this manner right here. So another punch shot, I hit this pretty hard, so around 170 yards. So if my half swing punch shot goes around 170 yards, what we're gonna do from here is, is that from the top of the backswing, we're gonna go to the top of the backswing, and from the top of our backswing, until we get back to around that half swing, halfway down position, what we're gonna do is, we're not going to hit the golf ball hard, we're not going to open up our body, all we're gonna do is we're gonna relax our shoulders and let our arms fall to that halfway down position. Then we're going to hit that same aggressive punch shot. So if I really over exaggerate for the camera, it's gonna look something like this. Top of the backswing, relaxed around halfway down, then we're gonna hit that aggressive punch shot and it's gonna look something like this. So what we have to realize is that once we get this type of motion with my seven iron, I'm hitting the golf ball around 210 yards. So what happens is, is that if I try to hit the golf ball from the top of the backswing, yes, it might feel very powerful, but in all honesty, what happens is, is that from the face on golf swing, from this halfway down position, we lose a lot of energy towards the golf ball. So what we, what we have to realize is that we have to develop that half swing, three quarter swing, aggressive punch shot. And once we get that punch shot motion going, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go top of the backswing, full swing, then we're gonna relax and let our shoulders and our arms come down to roughly around halfway down. Then we're gonna hit that same punch shot. So what we have to do is we have to be patient from the top of the backswing. We can't be at the top of the backswing trying to hit the golf ball from the top. What we have to do is we have to relax our shoulders and let our arms fall to around halfway down. Then we're gonna hit a very aggressive punch shot. It's gonna look something like this. Let your arms fall and we're gonna hit a very aggressive punch shot once we get into the hitting zone. Another great thing about this type of motion is, is that every single professional golfer that I know hits the golf ball from around this halfway down position. They don't hit the golf ball from the top of the backswing. They sequence their body correctly, and once they get into around this halfway down position, or even their hand towards the trail thigh, that's when they give it that extra power, and that's when they try to hit the golf ball. So what we have to realize is that, the good thing about this is, is that if we're trying to hit a half swing punch shot, the chances of us hitting the sweet spot is, is gonna go up, and from this half swing position, Nobody, not even amateur golfers, nobody that I've ever seen from a half swing position will early release and scoop at impact. Everyone will have some amount of forward shaft swing. And the third good thing about this half swing position is that from a half swing position, unless we hit a very nasty shank, we're not going to hit the golf ball too far off target. So once again, we have to go to the top of the backswing, let our shoulders and our arms fall down to that halfway down position, 
Then we're going to hit that same aggressive punch shot, and I guarantee you we're going to hit a lot of good golf shots. Just remember, from the top of the backswing, just stay relaxed, let your arms fall to around halfway down, then hit an aggressive punch shot. The first step is to make this motion at around 50% speed. Don't try to kill the golf ball. Just make the motion and just try to tap the golf ball in this manner right here. Then we can speed up and get that golf ball to go around whatever type of distance that you want with your 7 iron and hit, get that maximum output. So if you guys like the lesson video, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And for in-person or online lessons, I'll leave all the information in the description below. And if you guys are interested in online lessons and want a free swing analyst, please let me know.